What's up guys? Welcome to your 164th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is finish our update method and actually run our act, you know, actually run our widget for the first time on the emulator. So, let's just get into it. Uh, we have a random string variable which is basically a random integer and and what we're first going to do is kind of talk about some of these parameters that are being passed in. We get a context which uh, is basically we can get the package name so we can, you know, refer to other intents and refer to the layouts and all that good stuff. So um, we're going to refer to that a little bit. We also get an app widget manager which we're going to refer to to actually do the update. And lastly we have this thing that gets the the app widget IDs. So what we're going to do is we're going to say hey if there's more than one we need to kind of reference all of those and we want to do the same thing for all of the you know the different IDs the person can have of our widget. So what we need to do is we need to set up an int, which is basically going to get the whole value or how many different app widget IDs that we need to refer to. So we're just going to say final int, because this isn't going to change because you know this on update method is going to give us that information. It's not going to change. We're just going to call it n. This is just what uh, kind of one of the examples in the Google uh, developer used, you know, format like this. That's why I'm just going to refer to the same thing. And then all we're going to do is we're going to refer to you know the variable name of our int array that we're getting passed in, and we're just going to copy and paste that. And we're just going to get the length to determine how many there are. So now we have this variable n, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a for loop. So we're just going to say for uh, int i, which we're just creating again, is equal to zero to start out with, and a semicolon, and then we're just going to say as long as i is less than n which is you know the length of or how many different things are within our array and what we're gonna do is we're gonna again semicolon and we're just gonna add one to i each time until you know it hits n so that way we'll cover all of our different IDs that are getting passed in and now what we need to do within this for loop is basically refer to our layout um, you know and to do that you know our activity isn't open so we're gonna have to get what package this layout comes from and set up the view according to that and what this is called is a remote views so we're gonna say remote views and we're just gonna call this V for like view something like that and we're gonna set this equal to new remote view uh, I'm sorry remote views with an S and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, context because again we're getting passed into context uh, we're just gonna relate to that and we're just gonna say get the package name and that's going to give us the package of you know where this widget's coming from and you know the layouts that it has within that package. And all we're going to do is hit a comma and then give it the second parameter, which is the layout we want to mess around with. So we're going to say r dot layout dot widget. And again, that's what we set up within you know our XML file for our initial layout was that widget layout. So um, again, we just want to refer to that same layout. And now we can mess around with the stuff within there. So all we're going to do is, for example, set our text view, our third text view. So we're going to say our view. We're going to refer to that, and we're going to say set text view. As you can see, it takes the ID and also the text that we want to set to that view. So it's a little bit different um, than, than before, but it's not that difficult of a concept where you can't understand what's going on. So we're going to say r.id.button. Uh, or I'm sorry, dot text view, and we're going to say widget uh, update is what we called that text view, our third text view. And what we're going to set this text equal to is again this random, random uh, string up here. So we're just going to say rand, and we've changed our text view to basically the random string. And then all we're going to do is we're going to give that information to our app uh, widget manager so again we're going to refer to the app widget manager that's being passed in which they just called app widget manager like that and we're going to use a method called update app widget and the first thing that we want to update is the specific uh, you know widget ID that we're on um, so what we're going to actually do before we set that up we're just going to go above uh, our remote view but still within our for loop and we're going to set up a new int that is going to be the app uh, app widget uh, ID something like that and we're gonna set this equal to be our app widget IDs 
and we're going to set this equal to be i. So that way, uh, you know, every time we cycle through, uh, this i is going to be a different number, and that's what we're going to set the ID to, so we can return it to that same, you know, app widget ID. So now we have that variable. That's what we're going to set our first parameter to is aw id app widget id and the view. Um, again, we set up this view or this remote views, and that's what we're going to refer to for our view. And so it's just going to update our widget according again to which ID was being passed in originally and which view we want to affect and how we want to affect that view and since we're setting the contact or the setting uh, the text view um, that's what's going to happen so let's quickly run our application make sure it works and the thing to note is that we don't really have anything within our list uh, it already knows it's a widget because that's how we defined it in the manifest and then we can just go to our home screen click and hold go to widgets and we're going to scroll down to uh, the new Boston. And it looks like uh, it looks like our widget is too large for the screen. So, you know, I don't know if I didn't follow those guidelines properly, but I'm just going to change that real quick within our, our width because I think that's what's giving us a problem, like 274 or something like that. And uh, let's let's test that out again. So I guess I didn't read those guidelines, you know, enough, I should say. So again, you guys might want to check out that website because obviously I didn't. So let's go back and we're gonna add our widget. Uh, da, 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 the new Boston again. As you can see, here's our. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. But here's a random number that's displayed. Our button doesn't do anything, and this text view isn't set yet. So, um, you know, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Just a quick introduction of how to update, and that number will change every approximately every half an hour. Uh, that number is going to be new random number, and that's what our update method is actually going to do. But I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one. Peace.